What is up you guys, back at y'all with another video. This one's a highly requested one. How did I get the Iron Man harness to work? I'm gonna go down to the detailed part of what I have working currently, how I did it, and how you can follow along, and what supplies you'll need to get it done. Harnessing has been a very, very time consuming and difficult part for me. However, uh, with some help, I've been able to get this thing all addressed. The first thing is let's cover supplies. You're gonna probably want a glue gun. You're gonna need that. I have a link down in the description. The glue gun that I bought right there came with glue sticks. Awesome. You're gonna need some of these belt buckle connectors, right? Male and female parts. And then you got these uh, D links, I believe they're called. They come in with the set. Great. That's gonna cover you for all of it. I got 50 yards of nylon webbing. You'll be using that to create the harness and the whole system. Probably want some duct tape and scissors. Got that all covered. All right, next part. So the first thing that I did, as I was saying, is making a harness. This is kind of how it looks like for me. Uh, I noticed that having an adjustable strap right here and also these front ones that go on the front of my uh, chest, having them just to so make them tighter or longer as you go. And then I have this going around my waist and this going around my chest. These two that you see hanging off here vertically are for hooking up the back part to it. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on me. Here's a detailed look of it actually on me so it makes more sense. I have this right here, I wanna tighten it, but this is going down, these straps are going go this way to hang off the back off of it. I have this going all the way around my waist and you can see the back part of me right there. It's just one and you just want to lower it and that's how it works. Uh, for future reference, I would like to hopefully change how the this part is tighter. Obviously, you can see it's a little temporary. It's made with tuck tape. And I would like these straps going down here to go a little lower. They currently go right slightly above my waist. I want them to go lower down to my hips so that I can attach the legs better. But for now, I've been focusing on the torso. And the great thing is with these adjustable straps, I'm able to do that. What does it look like on my back? How does this all strap together? 3D printed these mounts and mounted them all over here. Huge shout out to Remco. He helped me with this whole thing. It was his idea. He actually has a uh, edited correct size of these. That's not in the link down in the description. If you want those, go to our Discord and just hit us up there. And I'm sure he or someone else can help you out with that. But you print these guys out and the point is, is you feed these straps through them and mount them all over the back of your parts. I actually use the hot glue to mount them first to get the right placement. None of these are uh, PLA welded yet. I haven't used a soldering wire and a heat gun, nothing. It's just hot glue and it's sticked on super tight. I mean, I, I, I can't pull these off. They're really on there. So these parts farther down here are for the back actually that strap onto my harness. These go to the front of the chest right here. They connect to these guys. This is welded together. The chest is held up by the abs right here. And these side mounts go to these side mounts so that it wraps all around snug and tight. For the shoulders, it's a beta system. I'm not really going to go into much detail on it. I'm trying to do some sort of Velcro thing with hot glue on that. And it... It hangs off. I'm not too happy with it, so I'm not going to go into detail on that. That's how this worked right here. So I'm going to show you guys how it is on me now. The back is simple, very self explanatory. You see right there, it's sucked on with these straps that are coming off of my normal harness right there. And now the difficult part is getting the other straps to the front of my chest. So here are the initial results of the in it. I think without the helmet, it'll be more appropriate for me to film this. You can hear me better. It's, it works. Okay, so here it is. Here are the abs and everything on me. The chest, you can see. The, I got the left shoulder actually pretty decently and I can move it, but um, as you see, those seams need to be a little bit better and tweaked. And uh, the abs are slightly too far away from the chest piece, but it's it's very, very close. And again, with the strapping system, which I'll show you how to install, you can adjust all of this. Nothing a heat gun can fix. 
And yeah, it's actually fairly comfortable. I can move around in it and it works. It doesn't fall off of me at all. Now I'm not gonna lie, it is a pain to try to connect that right there. It's very difficult to get those connectors right there and then getting the abs on the sides. But once you get it in, you're good to go. So, how do we make one of these connectors? It's actually not too difficult, but I'll show you guys in detail. The female part is kind of self-explanatory. You would just put this through here. It would be folded like that, you know, and you duct tape that. Nothing crazy. I always do my female parts just like that. I don't make them adjustable. Don't need both parts adjustable. Now this part is where it gets a little bit more interesting. We want to feed this web strapping through this kind of link first, and then we'll go through the male connector just right here like that. All right, and now what we wanna do, how this fit through is tighten this enough so that we can feed it through this link right here. So all I would do is just feed it through that. And what I found easier to do is actually kind of push this out like that, have more room to work with. That's pushed out and feed it through the other side. All right, all right. Now, we have an adjustable part. That's exactly how we want them. We would connect this like this. And then what's great is we can make this shorter or longer if needed with this much of our webbing left. Now, how do we get this through these mounts? The idea of it is very simple. You'd feed this through the bottom ones right here, pull it all the way through, feed it up. Now that it's under both of those, we'd feed it under this one actually. So I would give myself some more room here, kind of fidget through it. And there you go, it's pulled through. So just hold on to this mount right here, just like that, nothing crazy. All right. Now we have it feed through these two. Now what we gotta do is feed it through this third one over here, just like that under, and through right here. Just tighten down both sides, and there you go. This thing, this mount, will not move anywhere. The great thing is though, I mean, it will be a little bit difficult, you'll loosen this part, but if you do, you can still adjust this up or down. Now that we have that done, it'll look like this. We do both sides. Let's mount it on our actual piece. All right, get our mount point, our glue gun, and I just put four dots in the four corners. Gotta do this kind of wavy thing right here. Don't gotta be overkill and crazy with this. Now what we gotta do is find a flat spot on our piece here. Mine is right here. I connect the female connector first, and I'll explain the logic here in a second. So I push it down, wait a couple of seconds. By the way, this is the glue part, so it doesn't have to mount absolutely perfect. You're just trying to find the good mounting spots for you specifically. This will be different for every person, right? Um, but you can use these general ones as reference points that I use. They'll probably work for you for the most part. All right, now that's there. Now all I do is have this piece. I would connect my Male part, have it hanging off. Now do the same exact concept with the hot glue. Stick it on, try to find the most flat piece. It doesn't have to be insanely flat because you don't want this to be terribly hard to take off when you're ready for a PLA welder. But that's about where I'd put it. Hot glue, mount it, repeat the same process on their side. And this back piece is done. Fully adjustable right here. Actually, you can adjust them here if you really wanted to and it works very well. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoy, hope you like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.